Then I went through the, the work of whitewashing my home, removing everything that represented me, my family, my culture, everything. And then in a couple of days, I got the appraisal report back. I was right. The only thing bringing down the value of my own was me. The story of Paul and Tanisha Austin has gone viral, shared all across the world. My wife went through her bathroom, get rid of her hair products, all of our books and our art. Like just literally like, okay, did we miss something? We had a conversation with one of our white friends and she was like, no problem, I'll be Tanisha. So it appears for 1.482. Almost 1.5, $500,000 more. And like, how does that happen? It's one of those stories that you start looking into and it just ballooned and becomes bigger and bigger. I think what we're seeing out of this is that the problem is extremely widespread. The house is the house. Why would you go through such ridiculous lengths to belittle black people and devalue them. We found that homes in black neighborhoods are underpriced by about 48,000 per home. This is happening all over the United States, robbing families of the money people use to, to live the American dream. We're gonna put the entire appraisal industry under the microscope. If you think black people are being discriminated when their property is being appraised, would you kindly raise your hand? one person on the panel. And these stories are shocking. And they are evidence that systemic change is urgently needed. The system itself is so broken. Your home is valued for $25,000 less than two doors down from you. How does that happen to the HUD secretary? You know, because I live in a black neighborhood. That's not what you call regulation. That's not what you call oversight. That's not, of course, what you call fairness. We pay our taxes like everybody else does, so why is it that I'm being treated this way? 